yourself trying to be like everyone else, normal, whatever it means. So you can fit in. I think most of us do it until we stop being afraid. As it takes determination to find our voice and courage to use it. But as Maya Angelou said, if you're always trying to be normal, you will never know how amazing you can be. Once, I knew a little girl who was painfully shy. She couldn't even look up at the person she was speaking to. When she went to school, she felt lonely and scared. On top of her being extremely shy, she didn't know any English. Why would any kid want to play with me or talk to me? She thought. Eventually, she gave up looking for friends and realized that having an imaginary friend was so much easier. And so, she did for a while, sitting in the corners and not playing with anybody at recess. However, at her home, this little girl was full of joy. She loved books, dancing, and playing the piano, which she started to learn when she was four years old. These were her favorite activities because while reading, dancing, and playing the piano, she could shut down the world around her and imagine herself alone in her room. One day, after one of her dance performances, a lady came up to her admiring her dance and asking if she could perform for a charity event that supported abused and neglected children. Surely the girl agreed, and a couple of months later, she danced and played piano in front of a huge audience at this charity event. She saw that everybody loved her performance and learned that people enjoy what she does. And on top of all of that, she could use her talents to help others. Later, the girl received a letter inviting her to a competition for public speaking, talent, and confidence on stage. By then, she was pretty fluent in English, so her family thought, why not try out, not realizing what it involved. She got it. To everybody's astonishment, on her first try, she became a finalist in her state, and then broke into top five at nationals in Disney, California. On that stage, the girl had to perform in front of hundreds of people in the audience and 10 judges. On that stage, she learned that finally, she had been able to come out of her shell and find her own voice, which she knew she could use to do great things. That's the story of a girl who no one knew by name in her first grade classroom, but who finished her elementary school as an elected student council who led major projects and became known by almost 800 students. If this little girl could go from barely looking up while talking with others to speaking to hundreds of people, all of you can too. It's not only about finding your voice though, but also about giving yourself permission to use it. We all struggle with self-doubts and underestimate ourselves. Believe me, I know how it feels. here remember me not getting out to play as I was afraid no one would want to play with me. And as all of us, I still have my bad days. I struggle and sometimes try to be normal, whatever it may mean. On those days, I remind myself that I'm this girl on fire who is born to shine and inspire, to find her voice, tell her truth, and sing her song. Everybody stares as she goes by, cause they can see the flame that's in her eye. Watch her as she's lighting up the night, cause nobody knows that she's a lonely girl. And it's a lonely world, but she's gonna let it burn, baby, burn, baby. This girl is on fire.